Tonight, the NHL held the annual NHL Awards hosted by Nashville, and for the most part, it was an absolute cringe fest. I know your dad, Matthew Kachuk, the legendary hockey player. Pretty big talking about it. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure anyone expected much else, to be fair, but I will say I've often wondered why it's so hard for these award shows to be more interesting. I don't get the obsession with random celebrities who likely aren't even fans. I know Dirks Bentley is a fan, but still, why did they make it essentially a music award show when it's a hockey award show? I get it was in Nashville, but come on, do we need to cut to a song after every award? With that said, I did find it interesting that they had a live audience panel with some of the TNT crew, Elliot Friedman, and guests throughout the night, that was alright. I do think Biz especially does a great job of keeping the energy up, so there were some fun moments, but I don't know, I kind of wish they made it more focused around the awards themselves. Maybe a deeper look at the history of the awards. I don't have the answers, but I do feel like there's gotta be a better way to do this, right? Regardless, some notable wins came from Bergeron getting the Selkie for the second year in a row in his sixth overall, which is an NHL record, Latang getting the Bill Masterton Memorial, which I personally loved seeing as a Penguins fan, and Beneers getting the Calder as Rookie of the Year, and yeah, I'd say he was definitely the favorite. Some of the other more obvious ones were the Vesna going to Allmark, although I personally thought Sorokin didn't get the credit he deserved this year. Allmark was the clear favorite, and similarly Carlson with his Norris 11 years after his first, now got his third of his career, which I thought was deserving as well, and then the big one went to, drumroll, McDavid. <laughs> no surprises there. But look at the voter breakdown. For the heart, an overwhelming 195 votes were submitted for McDavid, and then one outlier vote put him at fifth. I mean, really? Clearly a strategic vote here, but whoever this was is simply ridiculous. If you want to put, say, Pasta at first, or anyone else really, that's one thing, I guess, but how can you reasonably say that there were not one, two, or three players ahead of McDavid, but four players ahead of him this season. That is nutty. And considering it's first for Pasta and fifth for McDavid, you gotta believe it came out of Boston. But either way, that's just, that's an interesting one. But yeah, there wasn't exactly a whole lot to write home about here. I did like Jim Montgomery's acceptance speech, talking about some of his troubles with alcoholism, which was followed up by Dirk Bentley drinking out of the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Interesting decision. But the legend himself, George, also made an appearance, which was maybe my favorite part of the whole thing. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of it down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. To all you hockey fans out there, even you Flames fans, Ha <laughs> ha